Introductions Since this is a speaking class the teacher should begin by telling his students something about him or herself, for example, the teacher a Euro trademark s name, his slash her place of birth, qualifications, and experience, what he slash she as teacher expects students to do and to get from the class, followed by some guidelines on how student performance will be evaluated. Often, classes may begin with everyone standing up and introducing him slash herself. This is a bit abrupt, however, and the activity below works better. Getting to know you interview. Start with an activity to introduce the people in the class to each other as a warm-up task. Put the students in pairs, in two rows of chairs opposite one another, and have them interview each other in English, taking down notes. Following the guideline below. When the interviewing is finished, each student stands up and introduces his slash her partner to the class in no more than two to three minutes. When the first pair have finished, go to the next pair and so on. I would like to introduce you to my friend, whose nickname is, a Euro. Name. Nickname. Birth date. Place of birth. Family members. Education. Skills. Hobbies. Other interests. Job experience. Sports. Prizes slash awards. Travel experience. What makes this person unique? As SDS are speaking, the teacher should keep correcting their grammar. 4. Example, a Euro he was born on the 10th of April in Bangkok a Euro or a Euro she graduated. From Chula with a degree in English a Euro the mistakes will be almost all the same. So by the time the students near the end of the activity, these mistakes will be repeated less frequently. 10. 20 questions for the teacher. If there are 20 students in the class, get them to put their chairs in a circle. Then, ask each student to take a sheet of A4 paper and write the numbers from 1 to 20 down the left-hand margin and write a list of 20 questions to ask the teacher. Next to the number 1, 1, each student must write one question as illustrated below. When the student has written the first question, he slash she passes the sheet to the person on the right, who in turn writes a different question after the number, 2, 2, and so on all around the circle, until every student has written 20 different questions. For example, 1. What is your name? 2. Where do you come from? 3. Do you like football? 4. 5. 6. 7. 8. 9. 10. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. When the students are finished writing their questions, and their sheets have gone around the circle, and finally come back to their owners, then, the student may go around once more and ask the teacher any question that is listed on the sheet. Nobody should repeat a question that has already been used. First, the students will ask a question, then, the teacher will answer it. If there is any grammar mistake in the question, the teacher can correct it, repeating the question correctly and answering in clear and simple language that everyone can understand. 11. Remembering Introductions Another way for a group to get acquainted and have a good laugh at the same time is to put about 14 students in a circle and have them speak in the following pattern, each one remembering and repeating what was said before, and then adding his slash her own new information. The first one says, A Euro a hello, my name is Palm. My major is English and my minor is French a Euro. The second one says, A Euro a hello, this is Palm. Her major is English and her minor is French. My name is De. My major is Drama and my minor is English a Euro. The third one says, 
A euro a hello, this is Palm. Her major is English and her minor is French. And this is Day. Her major is drama and her minor is English. And my name is Pen. My major is English and my minor is Spanish a euro. And so on and so on until they have gone around the full circle. With no one forgetting and no one becoming confused. Or if they do forget and get confused, just stop at that place in the circle and start over again, beginning with the next person and continuing in the same way until they have gone all the way around the group. Then, when the above task has been completed successfully, you might mix up the seating plan by getting everyone to change chairs and then continue speaking the round of introductions until it is again fully completed. Another alternative to this game is to change the wording, as for example in A Euro A Hello, my name is Archibald Mellers. I am the trade representative at the British Embassy A Euro or A Euro A Hello, my name is Dale Wallace. I am an accounting manager at Price Waterhouse Coopers A Euro. This looks a little hard but the students can do it. 12. Find someone who Every student takes a copy of this sheet and stands up and walks around the room, asking the other students about the information below, asking and answering only in English and using only full sentences. For example, find someone who has been to Chicago. Question, a euro ikai, have you been to Chicago, a euro? Answer, a euro eyes, I have been to Chicago, a euro. Or a euro e nobody has been to Chicago a euro. Then, write down, a euro e kai has been to Chicago a euro. Find someone who. Doesn't a euro trademark tea like rock music? Doesn't a euro trademark tea smoke? Never drinks alcohol. Never tells a lie. Doesn't a euro trademark tea eat beef? Has never been to Renong. Doesn't a euro trademark tea have a TV? Can do Thai dancing. Cannot cook. Can drive a motorcycle. Can understand Chinese. Wants to learn Japanese. Can program a computer. Likes computer games. Can use Microsoft Word. Has a bank account. Never takes a taxi. Usually takes the bus. Doesn't a Euro trademark T live at home. Gets up at 4.30 a.m. When everyone has finished asking questions and has written down the names of which students have done what, then, the teacher can put the students in a circle and ask them questions one by one and correct their grammar mistakes as they speak. Sometimes, the teacher can help with the answers, for example, a euro or everyone can use Microsoft Word a euro a euro or other is no one who can program a computer a euro a euro e nobody lives it. Home. They all live in the dormitory a euro get SDS to write the questions and then check their grammar before they actually stand up to do the task. 13. Ball game. This game came from the girls at Chula. It seems a bit simple at first, but eat a euro trademark s. Not as easy as it appears. First, you need a ball that can be bounced off the floor. From one student over to another. A big ball is better than a small one. Then, you need about 12 to 15 students standing in a circle with enough space so one person can bounce the ball off the floor across to another student. The first student holds the ball and asks a question like, A euro how old is your boyfriend, a euro? As the first girl is asking the question, she bounces the ball on the floor over to a friend who in turn must answer the question before touching the ball to catch it. Otherwise, if the friend hesitates for too long, or is too slow and has no euro trademark T. Finished answering before she touches slash catches the ball, then she is disqualified. And must leave the circle and sit down. Then, next girl on her right takes the ball, and asks yet another question while bouncing it to yet another girl who in turn must answer before her hands. Touch the ball, and so on and so on, until there is only one girl slash person left. Standing. Some sample questions might be. 
What a euro trademark s your mother a euro trademark s h. How many children are there in your family? What is your favorite sport? What is your favorite color? Movie? Song? Actor? What is your favorite gemstone? What sport do you play best? How tall are you? How much do you weigh? What kind of movies do you like? Music? Car? Fast food? What is the capital of USA? 14. Find someone who. Eat a euro trademark s amazing how these a euro is me own wo euro tasks make students feel so. Unselfconscious and spontaneous that, while they are interacting in the logger. Group, they almost forget that the teacher is in the room. Sooner or later, when. Things start to go quiet this means they are finished asking one another they. Questions. That a euro trademark s when the teacher says, a euro oeo dot k. Let us put our chairs in a circle now. And let me ask you what you have learned from your survey a euro subsequent survey tasks. We'll use the past or past perfect or the continuous tense, so there is some. Grammatical progression in this series of tasks. Teachers can make up forms. That will be appropriate for their groups. Here a euro trademark s another model to follow as an example by asking questions such as. Who was a beautiful baby? A euro were a you a beautiful baby, a euro. Who was the oldest child? Were you the oldest child in your family? Was the youngest child? Was an only child? Was born in Bangkok? Was always in trouble? Was a very quiet child? Was a fat baby? Was a very thin girl? Was a very noisy boy? Was a very clever student? Was a slow learner? Was a generous sister? Was never scolded by her mother? Were you ever scolded by your mother? Was a naughty child? Were you a naughty child? Was an ugly child? Were you an ugly child? Was born into a large family? Was always a good singer? Was good at Thai dancing? Was a good football player in school? Was a poor swimmer in school? Remember that asking the question using correct grammar is important when doing these exercises, question, a euro were a you the oldest child, a euro answer, a euro you know, I was not the oldest child a euro a euro or you who was the oldest child in the family, a euro a euro in it was. The oldest child in the family a euro the teacher should always allow students time to prepare the questions before everyone stands up to perform the group. Activity 15. Simon says. This is a game that children like to play, but eat a euro trademark s an effective language learning. Exercise because it is based on speaking and listening and carrying out actions. Based on simple sentences. The rules are simple, all the students stand in a big circle, and there is a leader. Who gives commands like? Simon says, a euro or close your eyes a euro Simon. Says, a euro up at your fingers in your ears a euro. Simon says, a euro a hold your nose a euro. If the command begins with the words, a euro easyman says a euro all persons in the class slash group must follow the order. Anyone who does not follow the order is disqualified and must drop out of the game. What makes the game more tricky and funny is that, if there is a command that does not begin with a euro easyman says a euro the listeners should not perform the action. Anyone who does perform the action is disqualified and must drop out of the circle. The idea is to keep tricking a few, so they do the action without first hearing. A euro easyman says a euro and, then, the circle keeps getting smaller and smaller until only one person is left, who will the be declared and applauded as the winner. If the leader orders, a euro easyman says, salute a euro everyone must salute, but if the next command is a euro or yoke now sit down a euro without the words a euro easyman says a euro then. Anyone who sits down is out of the game, and so on. Everyone will have a good laugh and not have to take things too seriously. 
While this is normally a game for 10 to 16 year olds, it can be played in a more sophisticated way, even with adults, by making the commands more mature and demanding. Simon says, A euro a tell me your mother a euro trademark s maiden name a euro. Simon says, A euro a tell us how many children you have a euro. Simon says, A euro a please tell us what kind of car you would like to own a euro. If the question is, A euro a would you like to win 10 million in the lottery, a euro and the person answers, A euro eyes, sure a euro then he slash she is out of the game for answering a Question that didn't a euro trademark T begin with a euro easy man says a euro. 16. Find someone who has three sisters. How many sisters do you have? Has been to Cambodia. Have you ever been to Cambodia? Has visited the zoo. Has never fallen in love. Has fallen in love. Has not yet eaten today. Has stayed in a boarding school. Has never played volleyball. Has. Learned to play the piano. Has. Traveled to Hong Kong. Has. Tried to learn Japanese. Has lived. In Switzerland. Has a 4.0 GPA. Has four brothers. Has a BMW. Has never had a passport. Has taught young children. Has worked as a babysitter. Has stayed in the hospital. Has a driver a Euro trademark S license. 17. I spy with my little eye. This is another one of those little children a Euro trademark S games that can be used as a speaking activity. Here a Euro trademark S how it goes. You get a group in a room or a lounge or a garden, etc. Then, the first speaker looks around and chooses any object or thing that he slash she can see and notices the color, such as the garden grass which is green and then says the following. A euro e I spy with my little eye something that is green a euro. Then the others have to guess what the speaker has in his slash her minda euro trademark s. I, which has the color of green. For example, one speaker may ask. A euro or is it a leaf, a euro but the answer will be, a euro you know. It is not a leaf a euro. Then, the next participant may say, a euro or is it a tree, a euro and the answer will be, a euro you know. It is not a tree a euro and so on, a euro or is it a snake, a euro a euro or is it a frog, a euro until finally. Someone says, a euro or is it the grass, a euro and the answer will be, a euro eyes, it is the grass a euro. And, then, the round will be finished. Next, someone else can take another turn, looking around and doing the same thing, and saying, A euro e I spy with my little eye something that is red a euro like an apple, for example. And the others can keep guessing with questions like, A euro or is it my dress, a euro. A euro or is it my shoes, a euro. A euro or is it a rose, a euro a euro or is it my lips, a euro. A euro or is it my nail polish, a euro. Until finally someone guesses right and says. A euro or is it an apple, a euro. And the answer is. A euro eyes, it is an apple a euro. And the round is over, and the players can keep choosing new words and. Playing the game again and again to their heart a euro trademark s content for as long as they are. Not yet bored. 18. Find someone who is learning to drive. Are you learning to drive? Etc. Is saving money to buy a motorcycle. Is learning to play an instrument. Is taking tennis lessons. Is wearing a Timex watch. Is looking for a new girlfriend. Is planning to study abroad. Is never going to get married. Is working at a part-time job is living in the dormitory is living at home with the family is renting his slash her own apartment is hoping to get married and have a family is practicing meditation is wearing a gold necklace is planning to become a monk at age 21 
is planning to own his slash her own business someday. Is learning German as a second language. Is planning to learn Mandarin Chinese. Is playing in a rock band. 19. Hangman. This is another Childrena Euro trademark S game that can be adapted for speaking and vocabulary. Most kids know this game, which needs little introduction, but for those who may have forgotten their childhood pastimes, here a Euro trademark S how it works. Take a word that everyone knows like a Euro airplane comma a Euro and tell the SDS how many letters are in the word equals seven letters. Then, you underline a space for each of the seven letters, as for example underscore 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 underscore. Then you give them a hint like a euro or a euro trademark s the name of a machine in which you can travel through the air a euro. Then, they guess the first letter, which in this case would be a. Then, they guess the second letter a euro and so on. With any luck, they will be able to fill in all the letters without making any error. The problem is that if they guess a wrong letter, then they suffer a penalty using one stroke for each wrong answer to build their own hangman a euro trademark s gallows. Adding one stroke, for every wrong letter, step by step, to look like this. There are lots of words you can use such as pigeon. Subway. Elephant. Python. Pencil. Crocodile. Telephone, etc. The secret of success is choosing words everyone in the group should know. And giving good hints so they can figure out the words. Since this is the age of student-centered learning, let the students make up their own list of words. 20. Find someone who has never had an operation. Have you ever had an operation? Has never smoked a cigarette? Have you ever smoked a cigarette? Has never been kissed? Has never learned to dance? Has never been to a nightclub? Has never been in the hospital? Has never had a boyfriend? Has never won in the lottery? Has never played badminton? Has flown in an airplane? Has never driven a car. Has never learned to swim. Has never felt jealous. Has never borrowed money. Has never had any money stolen. Has never lied to the teacher. Has never cheated on an exam. Has never visited a doctor. Has never failed a test. Has never cheated on his girlfriend. 21. Eat a Euro trademark S in the bag. Find a durable plastic shopping bag that a Euro trademark S big enough to contain about 20 suitably sized items. Then, using your imagination and creativity, put a selection of articles, suitable for your student group, into the bag. Like a rubber snake, a water pistol, a set of false teeth, tube of lipstick, perfume bottle, powder compact, comb, hairbrush, hair clip, ear ring, wedding ring, armband, chain, headband, paper clip, ballpoint pen, eraser, flashlight, calculator, TV remote, door key, mobile phone, Walkman, cassette tape, CD disc, light bulb, alarm clock, battery, small, hairy stuffed animal, small satin doll, Wristwatch, eyeglasses, seashell, chopsticks, spoon, fork knife, orange, apple, banana, peach, pear, guava, coconut, paper cup, coffee cup, paper punch, stapler, bottle, opener, bottle cap, a stick of chewing gum, toffee, or any other item they will recognize by feel, when they close their eyes and put. One hand in the bag to choose the item and describe what they feel, for example, a euro or a euro trademark s light in weight. Eat a euro trademark s round at the top a euro so that class members can get hints to guess what it is. People will feel a little afraid of putting their hand in. 
the bag at first, but that is part of the fun. Don't a Euro trademark tea put in anything dangerous or scary, and avoid leaving perishables in the bag if eat a Euro trademark as a prop you want to keep. The point of the game is for the student with his slash her hand in the bag to begin. To describe the feeling, shape, weight, texture, material, size, or what it is used. For, or when and why etc. until the students can guess the name of the item. Do not take the item out of the bag until the students have guessed what it is. An example might be as follows. What is this? What I can feel in my hand is a round, soft object, about the size of M orange. But the material is soft and a bit fluffy on the outside, although beneath that. There is a harder inner layer that is flexible, like some kind of rubber. The object. Seems to be hollow on the inside so that when I press the surface in with my thumb, it flexes back into the original shape. It feels like a kind of ball that I could throw at the wall and it would bounce. In fact, I think it is a kind of ball that is used in a famous sport and is used to hit back and forth over a net with a racket which is held in the hand of the players. Eat a Euro trademark SA tennis ball. 22. Find someone who speaks three languages. How many languages can you speak? Was born in December. Has three beautiful sisters. Doesn't a Euro trademark tea like dogs? Loves cats. Cannot cook. Has been abroad. Doesn't a Euro trademark tea like disco a Euro trademark s? Dislikes the smell of cigarettes. Watches foreign movies in English. Eats too much chocolate. Would like to try bungee jumping. Weighs less than 40 kilos. Is at least 180 centimeters tall. Has tried windsurfing. Wants to get married soon. Doesn't a Euro trademark tea like boys. Never eats fast food. Has been to Chang. My. Lives in Dindang. 23. Here a Euro trademark as a variation on the getting to know you interview. Students can interview one another in pairs as follows. What a Euro trademark as your name. When. Were you born? What a Euro trademark as. Your place of birth. In what country were you. Born. What is your nationality. What is your gender? What street do you live on? What is your house number? What is your father a Euro trademark s name? What is your mother a Euro trademark s name? Do you have any sisters? Do you have any brothers? How old is your father? How old is your mother? Do your grandparents live with you? Do you have any pets in your house? When did you start to learn English? How many years of English have you learned? Have you ever had a part-time job? What sports can you play? Have you won any prizes in school? Have you learned to play a musical instrument? What computer skills do you have? Do you surf the internet? Do you ever visit a chat room? Have you ever downloaded music onto your computer? What kind of music do you like? What kind of movies do you like? What sports do you like to watch on TV? Do you want to get married one day? How many children do you want to have? What profession do you plan to enter? Do you think you will fulfill your greatest ambitions? What is your greatest dream in life? Would you like to be super rich? What would you do if you won the lottery? If you could have anything you wanted, what would it be? 24. Find someone who was Boy Scout. Have you ever been a Boy Scout? Was a girl guide? Were you ever a girl guide? Has ridden in an ambulance? Have you ever ridden in an ambulance? Etc. Spent six weeks in hospital. Have you ever spent six weeks in the hospital? Has broken an arm or a leg. Have you ever broken an arm or a leg? 
has never been in the mountains, has never flown in an airplane, often gives to beggars, never gives to beggars, hates to sing karaoke, never goes to a nightclub, doesn't a Euro trademark tea dance very often, drinks coke in the disco, hates action movies, loves horror movies, seldom goes to the cinema, likes to read books, doesn't a Euro trademark tea like to study, doesn't a Euro trademark tea watch much, TV, has never had a dog, 25, 20 questions, think of a word that the other students should be able to guess, if you give them a couple of hints and then allow them to ask 20 questions, if they can, guess the word in 20 questions, they win. If they cannot, they lose. You can take words like Lion Pineapple Gold Or you can take a country like Egypt China USA Lead a Euro trademark S. Suppose you have chosen a Euro or Egypt a Euro as the word they must guess. First, you must give a couple of hints such as A Euro or It is a very old country. It has a lot of history a euro. The students can then ask questions to help them guess which country it is. Only yes or no answers may be given. For example, 1 a euro or ace this country in Asia, a euro a euro ino dot a euro. 2 a euro or ace it in Europe, a euro a euro ino dot a euro. 3 a euro or ace it in the Middle East, a euro a euro ino dot a euro. 4 a euro or ace it in Africa. A euro a euro is dot a euro. 5 a euro or ace it in North Africa. A euro a euro is dot a euro. 6 a euro or ace there a lot of desert in this country. A euro a euro is dot a euro. 7 a euro ido they have camels. A euro a euro is dot a euro. 8 a euro ido they have many pyramids. A euro a euro is dot a euro. 9 a euro or ace this country Egypt. A euro a euro is dot a euro. And thus they have got the answer using only nine questions. The trick to finding out the word, based on the clues given, is to start asking questions that exclude other possibilities and then keep going in the direction that your intuition leads you. The clues also have to be fair to give the players a fair chance. 26. Ask the teacher 20 questions about his slash her country. A euro e does it snow in your country, a euro a euro e which months are the coldest months, a euro. A euro e which are the summer months, a euro. A euro e which is your favorite month and why, a euro trademark. A euro e what do people like to eat in your country, a euro. A euro e what do people do at the weekend, a euro. A euro e what time do people start work in the morning. A euro a euro or when do they finish work, a euro. A euro or is there much traffic, a euro. A euro or what about pollution, a euro. A euro or are the big cities noisy, a euro. A euro or are politicians corrupt, a euro. A euro or are there prostitutes, a euro. A euro or can you trust the police, a euro. A euro or do people ask for bribes, a euro. A euro ido many people have a second house or cottage, a euro a euro or e what sports are popular there, a euro. A euro or are there many mosquitoes, a euro. A euro ido people like to sunbathe, a euro. A euro or e where do people go for entertainment, a euro. 27. The one minute game. This game has two teams of individuals who try to compete against one. Another by having one member from one side speak for one full minute. Measured by a stopwatch, talking on an impromptu topic given by the other. Side, for which the speaker has had no chance to prepare beforehand. An example might be. A euro or what do you think about sex before marriage, a euro. The point of the task is to speak without any. Grammar mistakes. Stopping or hesitation. Mispronunciation. Misuse of words being. Off topic. 
or any mistake of any kind. The members of the opposing side must listen carefully and stop and disqualify the speaker the moment there is any fault or error or hesitation, etc. Then, the person who has caught the error stands up and is given a different topic that he slash she has never heard before, upon which he slash she then must speak for one minute absolutely free of any error. Any speaker who succeeds in talking fluently for one minute scores one point for his slash her side. Some appropriate topics for your game might be How can we improve the quality of life in Bangkok? What would you do if the world would end tomorrow? What would you do if we gave you one million dollars? If I could change one thing about the world I would. Do you think Thailand needs nuclear power plants? Swimming in the canals around Bangkok is dangerous. Everybody in the world should speak only one language. The environment in Bangkok actually makes people sick. It would probably be more fun to create topics that are suitable to the particular groups. The team that listens the most carefully for mistakes has the best chance of winning, as it is a good strategy to disqualify the opposing challengers as quickly as possible in order to gain more time for the members of your group to get more points. 28. Find someone who is learning three languages. Are you learning three languages? Under 18 years of age. Are you under 18 years of age? A member of a student club. A member of a sports team. A member of a band. 50% Chinese. 100% Thai. An English tutor. Giving music lessons. Planning to go abroad. Working at a part-time job. Hoping to be a manager one day. Tying to lose weight. Afraid of failing an exam. Afraid of going to the dentist. Happy to be a student. Unhappy about the traffic problems. Worried about the economic future. Optimistic about his slash her future. Totally pessimistic about life. 29. Drawing a pie chart to tell about yourselves. If you have a class of about 20 students, divide them into groups of 4 5 and let them choose a topic which each group would like to ask their fellow students about, so they can write a question and then stand up and go around and survey every other person in the room on that particular question. Keep it a really simple survey that can then be turned into a really simple presentation. Try to ask a question where there are several possible answers, so the results can be reported in percentages. Some questions would be What is your favorite football team? What a Euro trademark as the name of your favorite band? What sport do you play most often? What kind of drugs do young people try most? What kind of movies do you like best? What type of music, rock, pop, western, etc., do you listen to the most? Who is your favorite female superstar? Who is your favorite male superstar? What kind of fast food do you like best? What is your favorite subject in school? What activity do you do most on the internet? What is the most important quality in a marriage? Partner? What kind of fruit do you like best? What sort of food do you like the least? Actually, eat a Euro trademark s better to get the students to think up their own question because the activity should be about something that they are interested in knowing. In the circle above, make up a pie chart to display the information you have discovered in making your survey. When you give your report, each person in the group must speak and present a part of the information to the class.